G Suite, it's simple because it's Google. So we pretty much we Google everything that you need. So if you go to Google and search for G Suite training, it's going to show up like a couple of options. Um, and actually, like always that you look for something from Google, Google we're going to show like the Google option as first option. So this is what we are looking for. It's the Google Apps training. Uh, and it will gonna forward you to the Chrome Web Store. It's a free app. You can just add it to your Chrome. Uh, just making sure that you need it's you must use Chrome for that. Uh, it's not gonna work with Safari or Microsoft Edge. Okay, you must download Google Chrome on your computer. So you can add the extension and it will gonna show here like on the corner like the up the up part of your window and then you're gonna do a click and that will gonna be an option g suite training so you click it will bring you to a new window um i'm gonna show you guys today the google drive because uh, i believe that it's more useful so you click on drive and it will gonna bring you to the google drive uh, window and what is new on G Suite you can find out now it's gonna show up a window mm, nope oh, okay. if you set up offline access for Google Drive in advance you'll be able to continue working even if you lose internet connectivity to enable offline access for Drive first click the settings icon here that's a really good thing that the training is interactive. So like it's just an option how to make uh, one of your files offline accessible with Chrome. Uh, and then like I must click whatever the trainer, like the, 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 the software is asking me to train to learn properly. So I need to click here. Next, click settings from the menu that opens. So I, now I need to click the settings. In the general section, there is an option for offline. Check the box within this section to sync your Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Drawings files to this computer. Once you have made changes to your settings, click the Done button. Now I need to click the Done button. Chrome will automatically begin synchronizing your files with your computer so that they will be available if you lose your connection. You should note that offline access to Drive only works with Chrome or Chrome OS and that offline access must be configured on each computer you use. This is a per device setting. Congratulations! You now know how to access Drive while offline. So yes, this is awesome! And then you can click here and then you have like a couple of options here like this is for Google Drive so if you get out here come back to the G Suite training and if you come to slides let's use slides as an option because a lot of people need to speak on different church so this is the Google option for PowerPoint files so if you need to build a presentation or something like that you can just come to slides, uh, use the G Suite training, and so how can I uh, presenting a slide with this? So I come here, I just do a click here, and then my training will gonna start. So I need to click uh, in a new document. Okay, now my training slides includes many useful features starting. to present your completed presentations to an audience. In the following lessons, we will show you how to present your presentations. We will also explain how speaker notes work, which can help you remember slide content when presenting. So the thing is like nobody knows how to use everything. I don't know how to use all the tools inside Google Suites because it's a lot of things, but you can learn. So if you do that, you're going to have a world of options, features, and you can search for whatever you want to learn. So if I want to learn how to create a sheet.
so I can come here and go to the Google Sheets presentation and I you will learn how to do that. You can also insert a chart that is already to that. attached to one of your Google Sheets. When you click Insert and hover over Charts, one of your options is From Sheets. Clicking on this option will open a window. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it's useful. If it's useful, please give me thumbs up. And I know that like people are watching and are liking like videos like that. Thank you. Bye bye.